let's take a look here at our new two inch torque and minnow. This is a little grub style swim bait that has a thin little tapered tail here, a small little paddle tail. Uh, this bait has a tight little action compared to our slim shad minnow. So this one, Torkin minnow, looks a little bit more like a fleeing little bait fish. And it also has this thicker grub style body so that if you do like to use a uh, collared jig, you got plenty of mass there at the head um, for that collared jig to, to bite down in and hold your bait in place. Now these jigs are best used with uh, a size 4 or a size 6 hook. This one is here is a size 4. It takes up the majority of the, the body there. So going up to a, a 2 or larger, you're going to start to run out of room uh, on the body there. So either a 4 or a 6 um, in a 1 16th ounce uh, or a 1 32nd ounce uh, does pretty good. I like the 1 16th ounce myself. Um, this one, since the paddle tail is a tiny bit smaller than the Slim Shad, um, it does need a little bit more speed to get this tail to, to move. So um, this one, you know, you just need to reel it back a little bit faster to give it that fleeing uh, minnow kind of action, um, but a really good uh, searching bait for crappie, bluegill, uh, basically any panfish. Um, I catch bass on them too all the time, but uh, really this was not designed as a, a searching uh, crappie and panfish bait. Now this is not the only way that uh, you can fish it. You can put it on a lot of other things. A few ideas here is we have a little micro beetle spin that you can, let's see if I can do this while I'm Got the camera in front of me, but you can has this little tiny blade on it, but very good little option for this little bait. And we also have our new spy jig it has a little prop on the front of it. Uh, and on this one, you're going to want to use the bigger one. Uh, if you go down to the six, uh, it just will not. Uh, work quite as good uh, just because the hook's going to be so much smaller and the blade's going to be so much smaller. So this one is the bigger one. This is the, the 1 16th ounce with the size 4 hook and this will be the size that you want to use uh, with the Torkin minnow. Also the micro underspin. Now uh, when you're watching this video, if you just now saw it and it's new, um, you're not going to see these underspins on the site yet. Um, they're coming. We're currently putting them together so um, they'll be up here in a week or two, um, but this is a really, really deadly way to fish any of our uh, little micro paddle tails. We'll have a few different options for you, but uh, yeah, a little sneaky underspin is a great way to add flash to these guys. And another option is the micro chatter bait. I think there's only really one company doing this, Z-Man. Um, so you can buy these little micro chatter baits that work real good. Um, I'd say ditch the plastic that comes with them. They're not very good. Um, and use some of the plastics we offer. You'll be a lot happier. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Another cool way to to fish these little grub style twerking minnows. So um, did take these out for a swim this afternoon. So if you uh, want to keep watching, we'll leave you with some some footage of me just fishing them in a little local urban pond. And uh you're going to see a lot of these kind of two-tone colors uh, coming on the website. We're having a lot of fun pouring these. Uh, a lot of them will have kind of a unique bright tail or a monkey milk tail with a contrasting uh, grub body uh, color. So uh, really fun bait to fish. It's easy to see too in clear water, which is kind of fun. Um, works great in off-color water or stained water too because of the bright colors. We have some with dark bodies too that work good in stained water. Uh, but yeah, really effective little swim bait that's super easy to fish and uh, very, very effective. So that is the 2-inch Torkin Minnow. Find them at MoondogBaitCo.com. Me, we ain't doing.
You're